Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you one amazing AI tool that can create entire website in just few clicks. And you're going to need to write even a single line of code. And the best part is, you can customize that website with your favorite website builder like Elementor, Gutenberg, Bricks, Webflow, and lot more. And this tool name is UI Brain X. So let me show you how you can use it. So here we go. So now simply search your UI Brain X. And you can see this is the platform we are going to use. And this platform by softlight.io. You can directly type the URL softlight.io slash UI Brain X. Now this is the website. Let's click on the go to app. Now you can log in with Google account or you can use your email ID here. Now I'm going to use here the Google here. So once you log in, your dashboard look like this. Okay. Now click on the add new project. And my project name is suppose plant website and let's click on create project. Now here you have two options like pre-built template and the blank page. So let's click on the pre-built template and you can see you have the pre-built templates here. There are a lot of amazing templates so you can use them or you can go with the blank one. So I'm going to go with the blank here, blank page, click on it. Now you can see this is the platform. So in this dashboard, there's two screen. In the left side, you will see here the option of coding. And in the bottom, you will see here, you can type here. Or in the right side, you will see the blank. It means that will display the actual website, how it's look. Okay, it's the output window. Okay, now we need to write a prompt to create a website simply. So there are some options. Is like, you can see the images. You can upload the images. Here's the option of color plates. Click on it. You can see, suppose I want to create a plant website. So I can choose the color according to my requirement. So I can choose the colored plate. And here the option of font also. So if you want to use some inter font, Roboto font, so you can choose from here. There is one more option is that. Okay. Now I want to create a plant website. So how we can do this. So I can write a simple prompt or I can use the any AI tool to write a prompt for me. So this AI tool have a proper understanding of your website. Now you want to use someone else website color combination or font type. So you can copy any website URL like this and go to here and just paste it. Once you paste, you have two options like click to redesign or click to clone. So let's click on the click to redesign. So once you click on this, so that tool will fetch the all information of that website as like suppose a color combination, font type and other properties. So we can use these properties to design our website. Now you can see here's the code design details. Okay, color plates, okay, background, color code, everything. So I'm going to just keep these things, okay, just copy this thing like here and just open the ChatGPT. And I'm going to get a simple prompt from ChatGPT like give me a solid prompt for creating a plant info backside. Add some menus like home, about, plant and these color hints and, and just paste it. So I can see we have some color blades. Okay, so I'm going to just delete that. Some other things like testimonials. I have some color combinations here. Okay, now let's enter it or you can choose the color combination according to your requirement and just enter. Now I'm going to just copy that entire prompt from here and just go to the UI Brain X tool and just remove everything and just paste that prompt. And now let's click on enter and just wait some seconds and that will give us the amazing website. In the right side, you will see here the live output. So finally, our website is completed. This is really awesome. You can see he defined the menu, he defined the everything, the real images. Okay, this is really cool. And with the footer. Now, I want to just change something like, I want to just change that plant name, suppose. Okay, so you can see the option, like click on this option. And now you can select any component. Suppose I'm going to select this component and I'm going to just change that to new something. You can see, I can change it. So I can change anything here. Now here we have more options to add it. Like let's click on the plant gear essential and you have the option of margin. So let's add the, increase the margin to up to 10. You can see, I can increase the margin here. Now you can see this is the box. I want to do something is like, I want to just change the font size. So I can just change it to the anything is like a small to the large, like this drive is small. You can see this is the small. So I can do for all of them, like, like font size is small like this. 
like this. So I can do according to my requirement. Okay, this is a really cool thing. Now, you can see this is the footer. Now, I want to do something like, let's click on this. And you can see we have the option of alignment. So, we can change that alignment to the, suppose this is the left alignment. Let me just make it center like this. So, we can make all of them like a center like this. This is really a cool thing to do the editing with this UI BNX tool. Let me just make it the default one like this here. Okay. So, you can do a lot of changes here. But still, if you want to do more, so you can do with your favorite website builder. Now, this website is not just for our desktop. You can see this website is mobile responsive. Click on that mobile view. And you can see this is the proper responsive website. You don't need to create a media query or you don't need to adjust for mobile. This is a proper mobile responsive website. This is really good. Ah, you can check. You can see there's an option like click on desktop. You can see there's an option like you can preview that website from here. Click on it and your website will look like this. This is really a cool, amazing website. Now, go back. Now, the best part is I can export this design to the multiple website builder. So, let's click on export option. Now, we can option of page builders. Now, we can see we have the Gutenberg, Webflow, Bricks and Breakdown. So, I'm going to try first Elementor. Let's click on it. And we need to do some setup. So let me show you how we can do this. So once you select the Elementor, then you need to click on the download and install softlight.io. Just click on this. Now you have one plugin. Okay. Now open your any website. So I have this new fast website. There's nothing right now. Let's open the dashboard and go to the plugin and install this plugin. Click on add plugin. Click on upload plugin. Now simply drag and drop this plugin and then install this plugin. Click on activate. Now we have activated our plugin. Now you can see go again UI brand X and you can see the option of Flexbox and Tainer installation is mandatory. So go to the here and we have the Elementor. Click on it and go to the setting option. Then go to the features option. Scroll down and use the option of container. So make sure this should be active and just save it. Done. Now let's go to the UI brand X again and here's the option of Paste the right click on Elementor Editor and choose the paste from other site. Okay. And use the Ctrl C or Command V. Simple. Now let's click on the pages. And I have this home page and this is a blank page here. You can see, right? Click on the Add it with Elementor. You can click on the Add new page to create a simple page here. Now simply go here and just click on Export first. Now click on the Copy to Clipboard. Then go to here and just right click on this. And just paste from other side and use the command V. If I'm using the MacBook, that's why I'm using command V. You can use the control V if you're using Windows. And fantastic. You can see we have the entire back side. Header is in the top, and this is the sticky header automatically. And this is the entire back side we have. This is really a fantastic. Now, if you want to change something, so how can I do this? So still you can do. Let's click on the popular house plants and you can see you can change it. Here's the card box that using. So every component you can change here. Okay. So house plant, suppose new one or something, you can add it or you can make it public. This is a really a fantastic tool where you can create a website without using the drag and drop feature also. This is really an advanced feature. Now, now I'm going to just sh show how this will work. Let's click on the preview changes. or you can just select the home, just enter, like see how this works. Wow, fantastic. You can see this is the entire website you have. This is really cool. Now, now I'm going to show you how you can work with a default editor. Let's go to the dashboard of your website. And I'm going to just click on the pages. And I'm going to just click on the add page. And I'm going to use the default, this one. Okay. And just use the home tool. Okay. And just click on publish. Done. Now. How we can do this? So simply go to the UI brand X again. Now I need to select the Gutenberg like this. Okay. And now we already have installed the soft light, right? Now let's click on the export. Click on the copy to clipboard. Now go to here and just paste it. And just we have this amazing page. Really good. Let's save it. And let me just show you how this will look. Now you can see this look like this. This is really a fantastic. Amazing. So this is the easiest way to create 
any website with a single click without writing a code or without doing that drag and drop thing. So you can create an amazing website in just few minutes. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me and comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.